guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel. Uh, this one's a little different. Uh, this is my 400 subscriber Q&A video. Um, this will mainly be unedited. I'll only edit bits here and there if I have to. But I just want to start off by saying thank you guys so, so much for getting me to 400 subscribers. That was one of my goals to reach by the end of this year. So to be only five months into it and reaching 400 it means a lot and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content well at least I'm hoping you're enjoying the content because I really enjoy sharing with you guys my love for movies and showing you guys how my collection is growing but yes yeah, so I posted a Q&A video announcement um, last week uh, so I asked you guys to put any questions you have on there and I've got a fair few to go through so and there's a couple of just like congratulations here and there so we'll just get straight to it so I've got all my comments on my little phone so the very first one I have on here is from my friend Sean hi Sean <laughs> um, are you going to be doing any more gaming videos as a matter of fact I am uh, this weekend after I've posted this video I'm going to be playing the new get the new Resident Evil game Resident Evil Village it is actually currently downloading as I'm filming this video because I know it's going to take forever to download but yes I will be doing sort of like maybe the first half hour of the game sort of like doing little parts here and there see how I feel about it I might carry on do a full playthrough or I might just do a review once I finish the game but yeah I am gonna I've got an idea of a series I want to do um, where I play games based on movies and sort of like give you my thoughts on it and stuff so that's something to look forward to but overall, yes, I am planning to get back to gaming videos. Okay, and the next one is from Cisco Kid, and he's got two questions. And first one is, what is your favourite horror film? Hands down for me, it is Scream. Um, I remember being that being the very first horror movie I ever watched. I love Wes Craven. He's an amazing director and. I just love Scream, like Scream, like I said, was the very first horror movie I ever watched. And it's one movie I have to watch every Halloween without a doubt. It has to be the full series. And I will say, I am actually really looking forward to Scream 5. A um, little bit hesitant, obviously, because there's no Wes Craven directing it. But I look forward to seeing how they're going to take, where they're going to take it and how they're going to take it. And then his second question is, do you have any other collections? Uh, I'm guessing by collections you mean sort of like box sets. If you mean box sets, I have the Nightmare on Elm Street box set, I have Child's Play box set, I have the Friday 13th box set. Uh, I'm trying to think of other horror box sets I've got. But if you're just meaning collections in general, um, I do actually plan on doing videos of collections. So obviously recently i just done my Steelbook one. But for other ones such as VHS style DVDs, um, special edition collections, comedy collections, animation collections, stuff like that, I will be posting more collection videos. So I look forward to showing you guys that. And I also look forward to showing you guys my horror collection because I've just brought more horror Blu-rays. So look forward to sharing that with you guys as well. But yeah, I hope that answered your questions. Uh, next one is from Grace Hutchings and she asked have you seen lesbian vampire killers? Yes, I have I watched it once God it was a good few years ago. I think it was on the TV So I decided to randomly watch it It's one of my guilty pleasure movies like I actually found it quite funny I didn't think I was going to but I did and I actually quite enjoyed it um, But I haven't watched it since so I do need to give it a rewatch because who knows my opinions might have changed but from what I remember of it, it was pretty funny. I do like sort of like those kind of movies where it's sort of like comedy horrors, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I have seen it. Uh, next one is from Firecracker9573. And uh, she just says congratulations, so thank you. And uh, next one is from Rice04. They just put cool, so cool. And <laughs> uh, next one is from Colin Vincent. Um, he put congratulations on reaching 400 subscribers. Thank you. 
Uh, first question he sent me is, what is your favourite fantasy film or series? <sighs> For me, fantasy film has to be Labyrinth. I absolutely love that film. I only got to watch that sort of like a good couple of years ago and I've been obsessed ever since. I don't know if I've got a favourite fantasy series. I think it's just Labyrinth is my absolute favourite. And then the next one is, and I like this one, this is one of the questions I was looking forward to answering. Do you think the theatre going experience is important and worth preserving or have streaming services proven that it's overrated? So for me, I think the theatre going experience is very important. For me, I love going to the cinema. For me, it's the experience of seeing it on the big screen, surround sound, nice comfy chairs, the nice hot warm popcorn, the big bottle of drink, the watching the trailers ready for whatever films are coming out next, and then hearing that cinematic boom boom boom, you know, the dramatic noise. For me, the cinema experience is very important because it's I've always enjoyed going to the cinema. I always go as much and as often as I possibly can. And I just honestly really look like I honestly look forward to going to the cinema. Uh don't get me wrong, streaming services um are quite good. But for me it's very limited and sort of like films can disappear and go but I think if you're a movie lover you have to have that cinema experience it's the going out to see something you know to see the next biggest blockbuster on the screen it's like like Labyrinth and Back to the Future and Nightmare on Elm Street I would have loved to see those on the big screen I bet they would have looked amazing stuff like Beetlejuice and I'd love to see them scream on the big screen I mean, I'm definitely going to watch Screen 5, but there's so many films I would love to have seen that I haven't got the chance to on the big screen, because it's just, for me, that is just a, such a major experience, and I will say that I really, really hope, even though streaming services are coming in hot, because thanks to COVID, um, but I really, really hope that theatres do stay open, and I hope that they do get to keep going, because honestly... That's one of my favourite experiences. <laughs> okay, and the next one is from Tracer1. And this, and they say, awesome. Congrats on making 400 mark. Thank you. Love your channel. Keep up the great work. I have three questions for you. Thank you. I'm glad you love my channel. Uh, I shall try to keep up the good work. So let's look at your three questions. Uh, so the first one is, what is your top five favourite movies of all time? Oh, 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 such a good question. Oh, so hard for me. It always changes. Uh, if I had to go top five, it would be in no particular order. Lilo Stitch. Treasure Planet. Labyrinth. Scream. And The Mask. All those movies I have certain memories attached to or I have certain experience attached to them. So they will always be in my top 5, my top 10, my top 20, no matter what. And I love each of those movies equally. Uh, second question is your favourite food. Oh, favourite food. Oh, 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 what's my favourite food? I do like chocolate brownies. I absolutely love brownies. They're really good. Or the shortbread biscuits. Like, they're really nice. If I was to go meal-wise, it would be pizza. I absolutely love pizza. <laughs> I'm like Michelangelo from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love pizza. Um, and, of course, chocolate. I do enjoy chocolate. And then the third question is your favourite snack to eat while you're watching movies. Um, for me, it changes. So it's actually only last year. Yeah, it was only last year that I actually um, only started eating popcorn because I'm a very picky eater. So when it came to cinemas and stuff, I was too scared to try popcorn. 
Um, so I always stuck to chocolates, so sort of like white Maltesers when they were about, Maltesers, sort of like, sort of like um, the Galaxy uh, little buttons, Galaxy counters I think they're called. But for me, recently it has been sweet popcorn. I do love sweet popcorn, whether that is at the cinema and fresh or microwavable sweet popcorn at home. But that is my sort of like, my top two snacks would be chocolate and sweet popcorn for when I watch a movie. So I hope that, I hope they were good answers for you. <laughs> and then I've got one from John's, I'm so sorry, I'm going to apologise right now, I probably can't pronounce the name right, but I will put um, the name in text here so it's easier. Uh, I actually don't want to try and pronounce it because I don't want to get it wrong, so I do apologise. Um, first question they ask is, what's your favourite anime? I'm going to be completely honest, I have actually never watched anime. That's one genre of movies I haven't really had a chance to get into yet, but recently a lot of people have said that anime is starting to become more popular, so I'm kind of like, maybe I should give it a chance. Um, so I'll have to look into it. But anime, war films, and sometimes westerns, because I think the only western movie I've actually watched is Wild Wild West. Uh, they're three sort of like genres I haven't really watched movies on. So I think that's something I need to expand on. So do let me know in the comments down below uh, if you recommend any animes. You know, I'd love to hear what you what your favourite anime is and. Maybe I'll give it a watch. Uh, second question, how many years you have? I'm guessing it's asking how old I am. I am 25, gonna be 26 this year. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and the third one, what is your favorite Disney movie? Now, it's quite difficult because I have two and they are Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet. Uh, Treasure Planet is, for me, very underrated and also has a very special memory attached to it. And I think that's why it's become sort of like one of my favorites. And then Lilo and Stitch is say another one that um, I've got a memory attached to. And I just love Stitch, he's so cute and adorable. I have so much Stitch teddies, Stitch tops, Stitch pajamas. <laughs> I've got a little mini Stitch statue and I've got bubble blower, <laughs> but say I do like quite a lot of Disney movies but if I had to sort of like pick two of my favorites it would be Lilo and Stitch and Treasure Planet so I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video every time I reach a hundred milestone I will be doing Q&A videos because I love getting your guys questions and thoughts on things as well but I hope that everyone that asked me a question I hope you really like the answers that I've given um, they are my true honest answers and I just love asking, I love it when you guys ask me questions about movies or about anything because it's just so nice to sort of like get a chat flowing and I can't wait to see how big this channel grows, I hope it grows big because honestly this is a major passion of mine, movies will always be something that I have an attachment to because it's my escape from the world, it's my way of having a laugh, of having a cry, of having a scare, of just about anything really. But I look forward to sharing you guys more stuff with you, more collections, more hauls, more question and answer videos. And yeah, so if you did enjoy this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you do have any more questions, uh, do leave them down below and I will reply to them, or I'll save them for the next Q&A video. And of course, if you are new to this channel, if you liked my answers and you want to check out more of my videos just to see a bit more of what movies I have and what kind of genres I'm into, then do hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell to when I'll be posting and go check out some of my other videos. Um, I just, for me, this is a big community and I'm really glad I'm finally back into it and I can't wait to share, like I said, I can't wait to share more with you guys. So yeah, just thanks, thanks, thanks again for getting me to 400 subscribers. I believe I'm actually now at 417. So honestly, you have no idea how much that means to me. 
and yeah and i also have a special announcement coming soon in one of my videos it's only going to be a couple more days and then i'll let you know but yeah <laughs> so thanks again i just <laughs> speechless that's me i'm extremely speechless <laughs> but i'll see you guys in my next video bye